Hey guys, and welcome back to Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. My name is Jagras, and we are in the Moldy Woods, making our way through. Neve and her companions neared the Moldywood, a dense, ancient forest of trees whose tangled branches had witnessed the conjunction of the spheres. It was not until King Vidimont's day that a road was finally carved through the primeval thicket, significantly shortening the journey from Rosberg to Aldersburg. Even when peace reigns, danger rules this road. Rayla said. Now. Now no one dares travel it. Well, we dare. At the edge of the wood by the road stood an enormous willow. Its branches swept down to cover its trunk, looking for all the world like long tresses shrouding a woman's face. Meave had an ill premonition. She did not like the sickly sweet aroma wafting from this tree, nor the metallic buzzing of insect wings. She sent a scout to investigate. He drew aside the drooping branches and stumbled back. There were men bound to the tree, covered in sap oozing from gashes in its trunk. Ooh. Its heavy scent had attracted swarms of insects, flies, wasps, bees and beetles. They seethed over the bound men, crawling in and out of their ears and nostrils. Eldane welcomes us to his wood, Rayla whispered. Meave stepped towards the tree and saw the men stuck to it were all still alive. Those the elves had caught recently writhed and howled for rescue. Those hanging longer merely followed the queen with half-crazed bloodshot eyes. Can we save anyone or do we have to kill them all? No, we're well, gonna... Are you to stand there all day? Meave screamed to her dumbstruck Lyrians. Free them! At once! Her soldiers needed no more prompting and set about sawing at the ropes with their blades. As soon as they had freed the first captive, before even a word of thanks could be uttered, a flaming streak soared through the air and stuck in the tree. The oozing resin burst into flames, engulfing the prisoners as well as the soldiers who had come to their aid. Elder speech battle cries rang out from the woods as elven warriors launched their attack. Nilkaipsia! It's a trap! cried Reynard. Defend the queen! I don't know. I, I would not have left people being eaten by bugs. That is a horrible death. Like, even if they got set on fire, it's better to burn and die, I feel like. And burning, I don't feel like, would be a good death, but getting it by bugs is... Ugh. The Lyrians fought in a veritable inferno, choking and drowning in a sea of crimson smoke, surrounded by the horrific screams of men whose skin had begun to melt and warp. The ambushing elves appeared as spectres, black paint streaked across their faces, eyes smouldering with the virulent hatred of humankind. Shortened bell. Right, I got this. Okay. Oh, we found him. Uh, are we are we happy with this? I think we'll we'll make this work. Keep your heads in the fight. They'll oh my rows are on fire. That's slightly problematic. Adirin! Let's play Nickers for now because he's immune. Oh, but can he get killed by the fire? Oh wait, I, I could have thinned him from the deck by playing a gold card. Oh, misplays. Misplays. Jaggers, what are you doing? Nay. Duanve Kamest. Oh, now he's gonna die to fire. Eh, it'll be fine. So let's shoot both of these. And we'll play this one. Ever have a stone knock out one of your teeth? And kill them. What do you do? A round starts one fire on each enemy row. Okay, so... I mean, I guess maybe that's because of what we did, though. I just realized I'm gonna kill my dog. None shall tread on us! That was kind of a mistake. Kill them! Kill them all! Okay, so let's play... Let's mark him for death. The chase is on! And then we'll play the drummer right next, I think. Now we will see who is weak! Army's a waste of time for one like me. And turn. And we can Dance probably line death. up the units ha! with this, maybe. Ha! We're not going to do that this turn, though. Uh, why is this not happening? Did she lock him? Oh, she locked him. 
screwed. Right, we'll give them their own fire. And then end the turn. A storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while Obviously we turns can. on to start damage adjacent units by six. Ooh, she doesn't look very healthy though. So now I think we play this, right? Kill her. And then shoot this guy. A bunch. We could kill him with this, but I think we can wait one turn. We don't need to do it. I don't think we're going to get a second use out of it, so we should do this. Uh, I guess we play this. Discipline shall bring us victory. Oh my god, it went down to a three. I mean, I didn't really have better options is the thing. Not really. They're dead anyway. We're still ahead. So it looks like this is going to be okay. Everything all right. So I think we can use the, this, right? And then he can fight her. Then he'll kill her. And then we end our turn. This is Elven Land, Dwarf, upon which your kind oh, this guy dies. has his... his He's got a, a charge. Ow! I can actually kill both the threes if I wait one turn. <laughs> um, because wait, he should serious? get hit and become a three, right? By the cavalry. Oh, never mind. Never mind. So I'll kill both of the threes. No, you won't, Jagoras. No, you won't. So we'll just hit this one then. I mean, we still win, right? It's not really a problem. Even though I misplayed with my doggo, and uh, the entire map was on fire, I think it's it's Don't all let good. them regroup. Finish off the wounded. Ooh, she don't like elves. She didn't like elves. The battle done. Meave surveyed the carnage. Her breath still ragged. The thick stench of blood, sap, and ash she sucked in made her stomach churn and head swoon. The Scoyatel. I'd heard of their cruelty, but... The queen said, sheathing her sword. But I... Never have I countenanced a thing like this. Black Rayla, who had just extracted her blade from between an elven gorilla's ribs, smiled darkly. Worst is yet to come, my lady. The queen regrouped her forces and marched into the Moldawood. The Lyrians sang none of their usual marching songs. Instead, they walked in silence, eyes darting constantly to their flanks. Uh, that wasn't Hear great. That. Nightingales. Unmindful of war, they sing on. Those are no birds, my lady. Just Scoitel scouts use animal cries to communicate. Tell the men to hold to the road, my lady. Anyone wanders in the trees, they don't come out. I'm totally going to wander into the trees. Okay, so we got a battle there and a puzzle there. Our main objective is over there. Eh, okay. This map is quite big, actually. There's a lot of places we could explore. I love getting sidetracked. To all divisions, the Lyrian Queen is currently passing through the Mulderwood. Her regiment is not large, but we cannot afford to underestimate her. That's kind of rude. It's kind of rude. I am mighty and, and powerful, and I will not let this Mulby Wood get between me and justice. The presence of wind-tossing tents suggested others had visited the Mulderwood not long past. Yet, why had they deserted their camp? What had become of them? Before the Lyrian scouts had a moment to investigate, they were surrounded by a sound of slackened bowstrings and whistling arrows. Are we just going to keep just getting attacked? Like, multiple, multiple times throughout this forest. Okay, so. Eh. Let's get rid of these guys. Don't need knickers. Let's make this work. What does he do? Does he set people on fire? Damage an enemy by five and its adjacent units by two. So I want to play something low like that isn't going to instantly get removed. So 
So we may as well just play this because he and gets when boosted you things were about whenever to get things dull. happen. So it's kind of fine. What does this do? Whenever damage unit by two, if it was already boosted, damage it by six. Ooh. Let's play this. Nay, Duan Vekamest. Let's play this. Oh, Gascon does not look very healthy. To them to a man ha. right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna use our leader first and foremost on these ones ha. and then we're gonna use oh sugar I guess we use this one I only need to deal one damage I guess we'll use this then. I'll go damage my own units. No, no. Oops. Sorry, guys. But Straya's black Rayla. I don't know why I just called her Straya. Because I guess it says strays and then Rayla, and I got confused. Straya. Isn't that what Australians call Australia? Well, anyway. I, we don't have very many points. None shall tread on us! Stop shooting me! Catch! Peas and rice, man. Enough. Now we will see who is weak! Let's go with you. Then we'll play Drummer, then we'll play Rayla, then we'll play Lyrian Horn. Oi! Hey there! Come here! What are you doing? Army's do? a waste of time for one like me. Give one armor to each allied unit. Oh god, that's really annoying. Well, I'll sort him out next turn. I can just duel him or something. Right, this is actually quite good, because we can do this. And then let's trigger this and see what we get. Oh, I've done that in the wrong Aye. order. Done that one in the wrong order. And then you can duel this, and we end turn. This has actually been quite a challenging battle compared to some of the other ones, although I do have a 16 point black gorilla, so I don't know. And she's going to pull Death the Reynard, so it's actually probably not as challenging as I would have thought. Because we play this, You'll never take me alive. and then on the next turn, we basically play everything. I was hoping you'd say that. So we play this, and we pull this. We must trust each Because that re-triggers her, and then we can play this, ah, and then this, the and we'll target draw. This, this is actually super dumb. Fear not, we shall achieve our goal. And then that, and then we can target draw two more cards. It's so silly. It's so silly. Like you should not be able to do that. Hey. And then we do this, and then suddenly the game that looked a little bit close turns out not that close. Ever have a score, knock out one of your teeth. Do that. And then honk the horn. And then, uh, yeah. And then we pass. 105 to 14. Do you remember when I said it was close? Like these... Feed you to the crows. This combo is just much, much too powerful. Like the way that you can synergize the gold cards is a little bit gross. And especially the targeted draw, like Black Gorilla, she just feels very overpowered. Obviously, the cards in Gwent, they don't do the same thing. So if you played Gwent, 
you're not going to get the same effects as we just had there. For example, where the heck am I? I'm just running around, having a look around. I, let's go down and do that puzzle. I think we should head down to the south and then we'll head over to the this side and then we'll go up here. There's so much still to explore on this map. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. We were going down this, this stony path. Right? That's where we were going. Um, is anybody there? Hello? He hello? Hello? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Right, what we got? We got some wood and gold. And... Ooh, a battle. Located at crossroads, shrines of Melissaly were meant to protect travelers from evil. Yet when Queen Meave approached one to pray, her force suddenly came under fire, victims of an ambush. Sometimes irony stings. Reduce the power of all enemy archers to one. Do not let Meave die. Okay. I got this. I got this. So, that's a... How do I know which are archers? Elven rogues, I guess, are the archers. What is powerful elf? I don't know if I meant to... Damage the highest unit on the battlefield by up to 15, then boost the lowest unit. Play and draw two blitz units from your deck. Choose an ally and play all copies of it from your deck. Okay, so we play this first, I think. I'm a lord oh. Apparently that Meave got shot. Whoops. I don't... What happened there? What happened there? Okay. Oh, okay. So the first thing I have to do is play Becca's Dark Mirror. And that will boost Meave so then I, can, then I can play other cards. Right. Okay, that's fine. I didn't realize they shot Meave. I, I, apparently I'm not good at reading. So then we play this. Pull these. Shoot one of the archers. Give me a target. So we need to get her down to one health, which means I need to do another five damage. So actually, the two I, I also want to hit her you. with, Come like on. this. Then we're going to hit her with three, but we need to copy them. And then I'll hit a four. I think I want to put her on a different row, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe it'll be fine. This is the question. Do I put this on the same row or a different row? Let's put it on the same row. We'll figure As you it wish, out. My lady. Make copies of these and turn. Then we thin them all out of our deck. Ah, see, this isn't going to do it. It's going to do too much damage. So I should have played her on the other row. I'm a one Because these are going to die. This is the problem. Right, let's start again. I need, I need to have, like, more space on the rows, basically. Okay. Right, we got this. This first. Then this. If I put these on different rows... Give me a target. I don't know. It's hard to work out the numbers. And do we shoot different ones? That is the question. Because this will do two damage. Then that will need... Uh, let's just do this for now. We'll see how it goes. I think this is just practice. Like, you could probably sit down and work it out. Oh, oh, but I, I think it's easier to just work it out by playing more than anything. So here we want to do three. I'm a right? And if we do four, and then two. Laria! One bolt's all I need. And then this will do three and then four, but that'll kill her, right? That's not what we want. Give me a target. I don't want to kill them. Oh, I could have shot my own units. Maybe that was the solution. Abolist, your command. Ah, this is a tricky one. Because I need to do six. Yeah, but I did four, right? Ugh. Ugh. 
Do we need to do lots of different, like, little damage? What is the, what is the... Do I put these on separate rows? Maybe. Abolista, your command. Let's try that. Then we'll play the Aretuza. Okay, now we'll see. We've got slightly different options for how we deal damage. Oh, oh, Lady Margarita told yep. us of this. And then we play reinforcements. So, if we do two damage, and then we can do three damage. I need to do six damage total. I need to do five to the other ones. So let's do two damage here, and then three damage. And then I could do four damage, but then I can't do one damage. But I can also then do three damage. But I can't do three damage twice. Or I can skip four damage and then do five damage. And then, yeah, okay, right, so play this here. Give me a time. Sorry, we're gonna shoot ourselves. Then we do five damage to this one. Command. And then we do six damage. So, there we go. We gotta just, we have to shoot our own units and then it's all good. Oh, using my noggin. And we got Becca's Dark Mirror now. We're not gonna put that in our deck. I don't think so. I don't think so. Not today, anyway. Well, maybe later, we'll see. Okay, so let's keep exploring the woods. See what else we can find in here. See what else is going on. Ooh, a chest, see? That's why you gotta explore. How do I get down there? Probably down to the left. Ooh, there's a battle though. We found another crossroads. We'll go up here later. Let's, let's explore down here. Check out this village. The other thing I wanna do actually really quickly is go to my command tent and see if we've got some more workshop upgrades. What is available? This lets me put what more trinkets in the deck. I mean, I guess that just makes it stronger though, doesn't it? Where's my twisted mirror? I feel like it's very situational. Uh, let's go with this one. And then we'll take out one of the scythemen. I'll do. Nice deck. Good job, everyone. And there's a battle. Let me guess, it's elves. As she traversed the Moulderwood, Meave always felt as if she was being watched. At times the queen thought she had glimpsed eyes glistening in the thicket. Then the rustle of tree branches can read ominous whis whispers. Of course, these were often mere delusions born of fatigue and fear, yet not this time. Okay, so it's a one round battle. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, I guess this is okay. Okay, what we got? What does this do? Whenever you play an elf, boost it by one. Okay, I mean, I guess that's a sensible thing to do. So let's play one of these now. Army's waste of time for one like me. Just so we can get units on the board. I don't know what the best way to kill her is. You mad? Don't shake that. Let's put this over here. Left, right, and left, end our turn. right. Show me the coin or sod off. What do you do? Every two turns, on turn start, summon a random elf from your deck. So let's see what we pull. We got a scytheman. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. And. I've got a turn to kind of deal with that, so let's just wait. Let's play this. Again and our turn. Again and again. I do want to use Meave, but I want them to line up. Yeah. Which it doesn't look like they're gonna do. This artist will I mean, I can manually line Black them up, but it's not heads. really, it doesn't really feel worth it. Is the thing. Let's play this. Have it the white of an eye from half a league away. And we'll play this on here. 
stop that from happening. And then we end our turn. I mean, we're up 40. It's probably fine. Now we will see who is weak. Okay, let's make a bronze card. Set a unit's power equal to the unit on its left. That's like seven points. That's actually not power. Ter terrifal. Terrifal? I don't know what restraint means, but never mind. There we go. Minus seven. And then we will end our turn. So I guess we just give this guy the charges because we can't fail. give it to the one we want it to give it to. So none shall tread on us. Let's play this. Getting to work. Trigger this, and here. I mean, they do the same thing, right? The chase is Target on. This. Play this. Flames this on the back hurt. row. Enter. I know a lot of them are pretty low. Look what the wear cat dragged in. Look what the wear cat dragged in. So we can kill the trap quite easily. Um. So actually, let's play this and send the. No, play this. I can't send the doggo. I was gonna be like, I'll send the doggo to kill the trap. But actually, the drummer. He's gonna deal with that. And we're gonna end our turn. See what happens with the flames. Apparently nothing. Everything all right. Well, I can kill that with this. Which isn't too terrible. Yeah. So let's play this on these guys. Oh, I should have lined them up first with this. That was a mistake. Like I could have I could have lined them all up and then done an extra four damage. I don't think it's going to matter. Like, you can misplay in this and it doesn't really make a huge difference. But, you know, it would have been nice not to. Have strength, my love. Yeah, I can't do anything about this now. But she's not actually going to... Oh, is he going to get killed? He's going to get killed. So we need to use Gascon as like a... Actually, I don't think I can use... Oh no, this would this would actually this will shield them both. This is the correct play. She'll damage them, but on the plus side they won't she won't go back to the side. Ooh, this is very close. Coin never Am I gonna lose? no matter how rank the pouch. Maybe. Depends on how the fire does. We only hit two units. Swords I smile at. Weapons laugh to oh, scream. Oh, man. That was bad. We lost. That is terrible. We never lose. I got too cocky. I was like, yeah, it's fine. We can misplay. Apparently not. Okay, throw this. We need a lot of removal in this one, I think. I think you don't want the bombers till later is the thing. Oh well. So let's play. Let's just start weathering this the rows, I guess. Hurt. That's what we'll do first. We also need to make sure we use Meave's ability. Like we kind of sat on it a little bit. Which is maybe not the wisest decision. Watch your heads! There you go. <laughs> But then we can use Black Railer to pull Xavier, so that's pretty good. Show me the coin or sod off. Let's play this. And hit you, because if I can put them both the same strength, which it depends on how the fire works out, but I was going to say if I can put them both the same strength, it'll be pretty good, but apparently not. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to play one of these, I suppose. Ever have a stone knock out one of your teeth? And then we'll play this and kill this. 
And we end our turn. I mean, this is okay, I suppose. We actually got Black Rayla, and we're killing Squirtel units, so that's going to be pretty powerful. Now we will see who is weak. So we'll play her next. Yeah. It's more his leader ability that's kind of a pain. Like he's just slowly killing everyone. Enough chit chat. Draw your. Oh, why would you have to go into the fog, Nickers? You're letting me down. I shall not fail. None shall tread on us. So we play this in order to pull this. As which order. we used to give her more charges. Then we play this and we pull one of these. Again and again and again. Let's play this. Kill her because she's annoying me. And oh, I maybe should have actually uh, shot her armor. But actually, no, it's okay. I have the right number of charges. Okay, and then we end our turn because I want to use Rayla to pull Reynard, but I want to do that after I've pulled Your the drummers. Head! Do that. And we'll also trigger this. Got a siphon. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. And then we'll see what we create before we also trigger Rayla. Ryan! So we can hit both of the nines. Or both of the tens. Let's do this. How has he got so many freaking points, man? Let's play one of these. Okay, this is gonna. I think. I think we actually still are fine. Like it doesn't look great, but we have a big last turn with, with the rain out. Right. So it's actually okay. So we play this. I'll just put him in the now he's wasted time. And then we play this, like and we pull this. Should we play here? Her Majesty is Oops. exceptional. Then we play this. Take this. Yeah, yeah. Target you. We oh he's got another charge now. This is disgusting. So we can actually basically target draw whatever we need. Are any of these gonna like stop her from being a problem? I don't know. Get another one of these. Left, right, left, Trigger this. right. Scytheman. This harvest will Play be this black on lattes. this. Play this. Pull a slinger. I'm gonna protect Xavier just because I don't want him to die because I like him as a character. Move three units. And then, actually, I can't stop her from going back, unfortunately. I don't want to boost her, so let's just play Gascon for now. Quick and painful, this will be. End turn. I mean, it's looking better. This this one's looking better. Have strength, my love. That's kind of a problem. Actually, no, it's not because I'll I'll command his horn, so she's not going back. Or Lyrian horn, I guess it's called in this one. So let's pull. Actually, before we do that, we'll let's catch pull a unit. All. Then toot the horn. This was actually a challenging battle. Which was good. And now pass. May your sword and arm be one. Does this? Does she even trigger the spy? Because he passes here, right at the end of the turn. It doesn't go back to his turn, so it actually doesn't even trigger. Doesn't even trigger. Oh yeah. All right, let's get some loot. What is that? What is that? I want this. Your Majesty, something glitters and glimmers atop the cliff. A few brave souls are prepared to scale it. Right, it's worth it. Ooh, artifact compression. Ooh, Gwenty cards. I like how I can tell you what the card is from like a tiny sliver of card. Wait, were we not meant to be getting some treasure? Did I make that up? Yeah, where am I going? I'm gonna go this way, get the treasure. Then we'll go down there and see what's going on. Oh no. 
My lady, Squirtel, have felled a tree on the road. Uh, we can remove it, but it would take some time. Okay, let's do it. You can have bad morale. It's fine. I want treasure. Treasure more important than troop morale. What's in here? Ooh, oh, it's cute. It's like a little jester border. I like it. I like it. See? You gotta get the goodies. Gotta get the goodies. Okay, so let's head back up across that bridge and down into the village. And then we'll see what's going on down there. I ain't afraid of no moldy woods. I ain't afraid of no moldy woods. Can't go that way. Okay, we'll go around this way. What's this? Milady looks... Look, the raven, it has something tied around its talons, some sort of lever. Left to address to our enemy, perhaps. Looks what they say. So we, we traded him a coin for a map. And there's a camp with a thing. It's probably down here. Like, the maps are always, like... You always get somewhere that's, like, usually near you. So if we look for a camp, typically, we'll be able to find it quite nearby. Get some more troops. Oh, I got an achievement. Go me. Recruit 200 Lyrian soldiers. And then... I guess we'll head that way in a second. Let's see what's up here. See what this person wants. What do you want? On the edge of the Moulderwood, there stood a small village, Crumhorn. The okay. hamlet was surrounded by a high palisade, while the villagers carried makeshift weapons, flails, axes, and nail-studded planks. Life as the Scoyatel's neighbors was clearly not easy. While her men rested, Meave approached two of the villagers. They lowered their heads in respect and fidgeted nervously with their shirt hems. My lady, reckon you ought to know. Elves meeting traders in the woods at night. Buy swords. Her Rayla, who had Oops. overheard the conversation, twisted her mouth in a hateful scowl. Hawkers stink worse than vermin. Willing to help murderers for coin. Please, milady. We must find them and punish them. You, talk. Where do these meetings take place? The peasants looked at each other. One scratched his head, the other towed the sand. Finally, one of them blurted out, Could tell you, milady, yes, but uh, only for gold. <laughs> They're giving me half the information. We'll, we'll pay for I it. I see it's I'm fine. dealing with shrewd men of trade. Fine. Your fee. Meave took a few coins from her pouch and tossed them on the ground. The peasants dropped on all fours and started snatching the coins from the grass, ignoring the contemptuous gaze of the Queen's soldiers. Them orcas wheel them goods to the old fishing hut north of here. Scoyatel come a-crawling from the woods, the first crow of the cockerel. The queen told her men to prepare to fight the Scoyatel and their abettors. Black Rayla sat on a fallen trunk and sharpened her sword. The grinding of stone on blade sounded a grim promise. Ooh. Two dogs fight, a third sure to get the bone. We got the gold. Them elves will get a beating. Now that's what I call good custom. <laughs> when two dogs fight, fair a enough. Third sure to get the bone. Fair enough. I think there's something up here, right? We saw it before. Got a little bit of loot. I gotta remember this map. I feel like I always forget about the maps. But we got it. We gotta figure out where to go. Ah, hell, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. So we can go back along here, and then we can actually go up this way and under the bridge. Which is kind of cool. Cool pathing. This guy does not look very healthy. What is here? Milady, we found human remains below in a rather grisly state. I'm afraid it seems Squirtel soldiers smeared the man in dog lard, tied him up, and left him near him. That's horrible. Drive away any monsters in search for the body. I'd like to know for certain. Have it. Ache. Oh man, if we'd taken him with us, we could have used him. Okay, there's like a river bend or a path bend and some trees and some loot. Okay, that's not too bad. We can probably find these at some point. Right, what's going on here? Meave arrived at the hut the villagers claimed to be the meeting point for the Squirtel and the Hawkers. Torchlight flickered amidst the trees, and she heard the sound of hushed voices. Your Grace, whispered Rayla. They're in our grasp. We must act quickly if all the elves retreat into the woods. I think we, I think to be honest, like, oh, I don't know. The elves have been attacking us, so I don't feel bad Worry attacking not, them. Rayla. The queen said, patting her on the back. I shan't let a chance like this slip. A 
attack! The Lyrians rushed out of the woods of the unsuspecting elves and merchants. Moments later, the sound of combat filled the dark wood. What if they're not like combatant elves? What if they're just like, you know, friendly elves? It's difficult to say who held more contempt for the hawkers, humans whose laws they had broken by trading with the Squirtel, or the elven warriors themselves who viewed them as honorless traitors to their race. Whatever the case, the hawkers paid neither any mind for if they stood to gain coin, they would bargain with any and all. All right, let's go. Okay, so throw this. Ooh, Xavier, that's good. Throw one of these, throw one of these, one of these, one of these. I'm kind of risky. I think I don't want to get uh, the dog knickers. Hawker scum! What does this do? Whenever a unit is summoned from the deck, give it three armor, gain one charge. When this unit reaches three charges, ooh, that's quite strong. Let's play the this. Is on! And then end the turn. So I can do eight damage to Special it in one price. turn. Just for you, love. I can do four, five, then it's down to. Yeah, I don't want to do that just yet. Just thinking about how we order this. Left, right, left. We can kill this right. with Meeve and with. Um... Show me the coin or Aha, see, so now what we can do, we play this. Thing about slings. Do that. Well. And we'll trigger this. Catch! Put that on the back row. Because we're about to then use Meeve to kill both of these. Nah, that lined up really nicely. Then we'll end our turn. I feel like the uh, cavalry are a little bit awkward for lining up your your big damage. Honestly. I smell a leak. Let's do that. This this is really annoying. Because it, it she does damage every turn. I don't really I like that. I shall not fail. So. What can I do about it, is then the question. I guess we'll just use this. You can duel this. And then we end our turn. Oh, my little leg. What do you do? Heal an ally. Okay, that's fine. Let's play this. Oh, it's got cooldown, though. Mm. Mm. Play a trinket from your graveyard and give it doomed. I don't think I have any trinkets in my graveyard. Let's just get another one of these. The regiment drummer. Then we get another drummer next to him, and then we can maybe like do something. None cool. shall tread on us. This healing is kind of annoying, but on the plus side, we have two nines now, so maybe it's okay. Again and again. Then we're just gonna thin out our whole deck. She can't heal both of them. The healing is really annoying, though. We ought to help one or the oh, other. Okay, that's a problem. We can kill one of them. I just shot both of those. There's a oh, time damn to it! Reap, a time to sow, and a, and time, a time, to time to die. Let's play this. We'll just kill this one. I hate they have to like, like re-aim every time. I guess if I was using, I could just use the mouse. It's slightly easier for this one. We we'll just uh, switch into playing with the mouse now. Then we use Xavier to pull, like the redeploy coming. from these. I guess. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Uh, she's going back to the enemies, unfortunately. So we may as well just kind of. Although actually, maybe not. Depends what we pull. Getting to work. With the these guys. Because if we can maybe block the damage. Now we can't. In which case we may as well sacrifice something smaller. Aye. Oh, maybe we can. Oh, I'm not gonna have room. Her Majesty is exceptional. I'm gonna have no room. <laughs> There's nothing else to pull, which is a blitz unit. Slightly problematic. Okay, we'll just end our turn then. We thinned all of the blitz units Swords from our deck. I smile at. Weapons laugh to scorn. Yeah, so we'll wait for her to trigger, which is annoying, but yeah. Then we'll do this. I think we still win, honestly. You can have an extra charge. There you go. There you go. Duval. 
Indeed, Dwan. There's but one penalty for trading with elves. I don't know. I think the elves have been attacking us. I Meave pulled off a rare trick. She laid a trap for the Scoyatel in their own woods. The surrounded elves fought to the bitter end, choosing death over human captivity. Meave cracked open the hawkers' chests and stared at a mass of tangled oakum. Perplexed, she dug deeper and found the real goods hidden underneath. Bolts with entrail pureeing hooks, leg snapping bear traps, and incurable poisons. Instruments of cruelty, said Raynard, looking over the chest's contents, designed to deliver maximum pain and a prolonged death. Gascon did not share in the general gloom. He reached for one of the arrows and balanced it in his hand with curiosity. A corpse is a corpse. It cares not how it became one. And these marvels, oh, my lads could do fine things with them. Uh, ooh. I don't think we need, like, I don't want a prolonged death. I, I kind of disagree my with Gascon here. My crown I have lost, but my honor remains. Meave said, grabbing the arrow from Gascon. I will not allow soldiers under my command to fight with this. Reynard. Have these chests thrown in the lake. In sinking the hawker's weapons, Meave sent a clear signal that her honor would not tarnish even at the darkest hour. News of the massacre echoed through all of Edern, cooling the desire of anyone tempted to profit by selling death to elven terrorists. Hey, well that was good. That was pretty solid if I do say so myself. Good job everyone. Not too shabby, not shabby at all. Right, where are we on the map? Um, I'm trying to think where this little settlement will be, where the the treasure is. Like, because I've, I've got these two maps, and now I feel like maybe I've been there and I just didn't realize. Eh, we'll just we'll just leave it for now. And we'll head back towards the main road. Um, and I think speaking of leaving things for now, I think this is where we're gonna. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, we can make a bridge. Okay, let's do that. Uh, but yeah, this is where we are going to leave this episode for the time being. If you enjoyed the episode, maybe leave a like. You can always subscribe to the channel for more. There'll be another episode tomorrow. Uh, and you can let me know what you thought of my decisions in the comments below and what you thought of the episode. You can also find me on... I know you're in there. All right, I'll get you later. You can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jagoras and on Twitter at Jagoras. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day and hopefully I will catch you in the next episode. Bye!